So when we arrived, you literally come out of the exit and in front of you there's the Airport Express, the 300 and bus, sorry, and there's also a 300A. We took the 300A and it was £8 each, so it's £16 to go directly to the city centre. Uh, it took about 45 to 50 minutes if that and it dropped us off the last stop which was the Europa bus centre. Very, very easy, very straightforward. Came out of the bus centre, we had about a five to ten minute walk if that, and got straight to our hotel, the Maldron Hotel, right in the city centre. So at the moment we're just winging it, we're having a wander around Belfast city centre. Even though it is a Saturday, it does seem quite quiet and as you can see it's a little bit chilly. We're down by the river, it's called now I look it up. And uh, we're just having a wander around, seeing some lovely old architecture, the buildings, and some of the new ones actually, right next to it. So um, we'll just show you what we will see. We're now at the Albert Bridge. It was built in 1886 and it was a replacement for the Halfpenny Bridge. And we're just walking along the river Logan. Logan. Longen. <laughs> I can't. We're now at the Albert Bridge. This was built in 1886 and it was a replacement for the Halfpenny Bridge. We're right by the river Logan and we're just about to walk along. <laughs> so today we had a bit of a lane because uh, there's no point getting up too early, it's about 10 o'clock and we decided to go to St George's Market which is only about a 10 minute walk from our hotel and then from there we're going to go to Carrick Burgess by train and I think it's only about 25 minutes, half an hour and there's a castle there so we're going to have a lovely day out. Hi everyone, today it's Monday and we've decided to go to the Titanic Quarter in Belfast and we're going to go and visit the Titanic Museum. Now hopefully it will tell us all about when the Titanic was built, which I'm sure it will and I'm really really looking forward to it. We managed to book the ticket online for two adults 
and I think it came to a total of £35 and you have to actually book a time slot. I'm not quite sure how long we'll get to go around but we'll show you when we do. Hi everyone, today we are in the Crown Liquor Saloon in the middle of Belfast. Now this is quite a famous place, it is very ornate, um, it has had a bit of a, um, a bad history, it's, I think it has been bombed a few times in the past, um, but they have renovated it. Uh, over and over again and it is absolutely gorgeous, very very ornate. Uh, so we decided to come here, have a little visit and have something to eat and have a lunch. So, and we're on our way after this to Derry, we're going to go by bus, it's going to take us about two hours and I think it's about £13 each for a ticket one way. So we can enjoy our lunch and we'll show you a little bit of this beautiful place. So I'm diving into the Irish stew. I ordered a large because uh, me and the other are going to have a little share. So I'm just going to taste it. Um, it's made with lamb and it has carrots, onions and potatoes I believe. And with a really really nice thick sauce. So here we go. Mm. Oh that's lovely. Very flavoursome. Mm. The meat's very tender as well. Mm, definitely recommend. That tomato as well. Yeah, like mm. So the second meal we ordered is a beef Irish Scout Ale pie. And it's served with creamy mashed potato and two different kinds of veg and gravy. So. Uh, the pastry is cut pastry, so I'm going to give this a little cut. Ooh, let's have a look. Nice and hot. Mm, looking forward to this. Very nice. It's, um, you, can, you can taste the beef. It's not as flavoursome as the Irish stew, but I do like the pastry. It's very flaky, very light. So yeah, I'll definitely give it a go. I'll give that a good party aid. If you like our videos, please click the subscribe button, 
and select the bell icon to receive notifications when new ones are uploaded. We greatly appreciate it.